The Atlantic hurricane season runs from June all the way through November, and some of the more favored areas of development are the Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, and the open waters of the Atlantic. Now, here's a basic explanation of how these weather machines form. Thunderstorm clusters actually move off the coast of Africa and drift westward over warm ocean waters. In fact, the first key ingredient are sea surface temperatures of at least 80 degrees for a tropical system to form, grow, and maintain itself. The second thing are winds coming together to help force this air upward. And this can occur just off the equator where the prevailing winds come together in an area known as the intertropical convergent zone. Now, if the conditions are favorable, a hurricane can form. But let's take a closer look. Hurricanes can cover hundreds of miles in scope, but it's the center of the storm where most of the action occurs. And this is usually about 50 miles or less. This is known as the eye of the hurricane. The eye is formed when warm air converges or comes together at the sea surface level. The warm air then starts to lift or rise within the storm's center column. The rising air actually cools and moisture is lifted to the top of the storm. The relatively cooler air then diverges or spreads out at the top of the storm, which gives the hurricane its circular or fanned out appearance. As the air spreads out, more moisture is pulled up from the ocean waters. This continues the ongoing cycle because as the ocean water evaporates, energy is released into the storm and the spinning motion of the hurricane continues to draw up more moisture and the life cycle continues. Now there are numerous parameters needed for a storm's life cycle to determine whether it strengthens, weakens or maintains in its intensity and the upper level winds in the atmosphere help to determine where the storm can go and how fast it can move.